look at this this is from the movie and this is what I created in Unreal Engine 5 come on it's not that good I know but the main thing is mega lights uh, in Unreal Engine 5.5 we have mega lights and I'll show you how easy it is to create a scene like this one in Unreal Engine with mega lights what if I tell you that I have used no lights in this scene like there is absolutely no lights I've used like uh, from these lights you can see right here lighting no directional light no spotlight like nothing I've used no lighting to prove it to you I'll just stop it right in here and now you can see there is no lighting thing like uh, this uh, scene is completely black there are nothing in the world it's like uh, you can see it right here but if I tell him to simulate like this one uh, now you can see all these lighting come so what does that come from how can we make these things uh, this is uh, the project in Unreal Engine you can see it right here with the graphics and the Batman is standing right in here and look at the Superman he's just flying in the air which is kind of great but the main thing is right here if I come out of here uh, you can see the raining is there but the main thing is right here this is a uh, media player in Unreal Engine and using this like I do need to create all these clouds and thunder and things uh, like uh, if I'm trying to make all these things it would be really difficult and it will take a very long time so that's why using videos uh, makes it very simple I just downloaded a video from YouTube I'll show you the video in here if I come uh, right here in tools here I have this video right here uh, you can see it is this is the video it's just the clouds and the thunder lights are there that's all in the video then what you want to do is the first thing you have to come to project settings and in project settings you need to search for made mega lights like this now you can see here we have direct lighting and in direct lighting this is the mega lights you need to enable the mega lights and after enabling the mega lights now you can see we can use this texture lighting uh, this is just uh, kind of great so the next thing you want to do is to come right here and right click and tell him we want to create a new media so here you need to create a new media player I'll just tell him okay video output media texture asset and then I can give any name like maybe clouds uh, like that and then I can open these clouds and in here you can select any video like you can import many videos but in this case I have two videos you can see one video is this from the Fortnite, and this is uh, the another video uh, the this is the video yeah this is the video from the clouds you can see it right here you can just download a video like this one on YouTube it's pretty simple you can find it as you can see when you select it it is played in there and that's great the next thing you want to do is uh, when you select the video uh, you will have a texture for that if you open the texture like this like uh, Unreal Engine will give you this uh, texture by default and this texture is like this it will have this base color and this opacity uh, mask but you can just multiply this with emissive color as well that way it would be much better like uh, you can control the brightness of your lights in the cloud like that I'll just multiply this by 5 something like that so that we will have a little brighter then I'll save and apply everything now you can see you can just simply add all these things uh, to a sequencer you can see this is just a sequencer I created it's pretty simple and then add all these things uh, to show you all these things in a real project I'll come here and add a new level like this one I'll select this basic level so that we have something on the ground and then I can come right here and I'll delete the directional light I'll say remove this uh, sky atmosphere as well and skylight no skylight we need volumetric clouds I'll remove this now you can see we have a complete darkness in the world I can come right here and change this to unlit now you can see without light we can see the things in here and then uh, the next thing you want to do is well I'll remove this player start because uh, we don't have any player uh, like I mean it's not a game so that's why we don't need a player start for this and the next thing now you can see the world is dark in lit mode uh, but the thing is if I come right in here so in this case I'll just come right here and add this uh, media source to the world and then I can change its size a little bit like this and I'll bring this a little up now if I change to late mode you can see nothing happens why is that because we don't have light and this is not playing by default but if I come here and play the game you can see we have the lights 
and these clouds actually affecting the world as we look at this this is the world and it's affecting the world uh, without playing the game still you can uh, simulate the game and everything will work look at these the clouds are there and it's affecting the world so this way like you can just bring superman right in here i'll come here i have this superman in here uh batman is here and there is superman i'll just drag and drop the superman to the world and then i can bring it a little up like this now you can see this is our superman bat you can see this is not as bright as we saw in my map but it's pretty simple you can just come here and duplicate one in front of superman as well in that map also we have two of them uh, now if i uh, i have to stop simulation nothing will happen when you're simulating so now i'll change this to unlit and come up here and now let's duplicate this one i'll just uh, duplicate it like this and let's bring the superman as well i'll just bring the superman drag and drop that to the world now let's uh, rotate the superman a little bit like that and i'll bring that a little up you can change the size as well because it's really huge uh, like this and there you go now you can see if i save everything and well you need to save this map as well i'll save it as a new map and now if i simulate you can see we have the superman in there but the thing is it's still in unlit mode i'll change this back to lit mode if i simulate again now you can see uh, we have these lights and they are in there but still uh, it's not as bright as we saw you can come right here and just uh, change the size of these uh, like this so that we do uh, have more lightings as well and then uh, now if i come here and simulate again uh, well in lit mode not in unlit mode if i simulate you can see we have more lighting than before uh, i'll just bring this a little up it's too much in the ground i'll bring that up like this one let's simulate again now you can see we have a little more lighting and superman's uh, face i'll bring this a little up as well because that should be in the background now if i just uh, focus on superman you can see it looks just great but the thing is if uh, still the lighting is less and you want more lighting it's uh, very simple you can come right here and search for post process volume and add a post process volume to the world and then you can search for exposure or you can come down here you, uh, you can find the exposure i'll tell him we want manual exposure and i'll change the value to something like uh, 12 but nothing happens why is that uh, because the first thing we should stop simulation oh come on that's a big problem and now i need to add this post process volume again because when you're simulating and adding something that will not be there when you stop simulating so if i come here to exposure and i'll tell them we need manual exposure and we will give this a volume like 13 maybe now if i start simulating you can see it is still the same thing why is that because this post process volume will not affect the world unless you tell them to infinite extent unbound like that now if i simulate you can see we have more lighting and superman looks good much better now look at this uh, so the background the clouds are just looking great but if uh, you're making these clouds from the beginning it would be really difficult because the clouds on these thunder lights uh, it's uh, a really huge work in 3d uh, so this is why these mega lights are really huge topic in unreal engine 5.5 uh, they will uh, change the lighting forever because uh, now when you you can add as many lights as you want and performance wise it will also help a lot because in this case you can see if you're creating light these uh, clouds and things it will take time first and second it would be like heavy to be rendered uh, like performance wise it's also not good but these mega lights like this uh, texture area lights they help you to make uh, things more realistic more simpler in short time with high performance like uh, that's all we want and the next thing is uh, using mega lights are very simple all you need is to come to project settings and enable mega lights from here you do that and it will work fine now let's come back to our uh, project like uh, my map and see what else is there so the action will terminate yeah uh, now let's come here uh, you can see the other thing is this lighting in here like this raining and now you can see this world is also completely dark if i change to unlit like there is no light absolutely no light look at this when i change to lit mode in our whole world there is nothing in there like 
no lighting but if i simulate so all these lighting came from these textures like uh, yeah, you can see right, these videos so all these videos make the world that much bright that you can see everything in the world and that's too far away as well because they're huge and you can just focus on one thing and you can see everything that is a good thing about these new mega lights and that looks just great like more like realistic and things and so where this uh, rain came from you can make this rain simple like in niagara but if you still want to find exactly this one you can just come here to the fob.com and search for a uh, soul city like that and here you can see here we have this soul city i just took those from this soul city so you can see this soul city has these raining effects and things you just uh, get it from there another thing these buildings are uh, also in here if i come here back to fob.com and come down here uh, there we have it so the road i took from here you can see right here those assets and the thing uh, is those buildings you can come right here and search for a building well i'll just remove the quixel and i'll tell him we need uh, free now you can come down here and find them here you can see modular building set these are the buildings i've used in here like uh, in the background you can see right here those buildings uh, so that makes things more realistic like uh, this thing happened in the city so that's all about the mega lights uh, how you can use mega lights how you can use this uh, a texture area lights which are looking great and very powerful so that's all about this one i will see you in the next video